and welcome to Stick Player Learns Motion, where you get to watch a try-hard turn into the filthiest of casuals. Now some of you might be wondering, it's nearly been a year and a half, why learn now? The answer is simple. Look at this guy. Now look at me. I don't want to be a legendary player in Splatoon. I want to be a mythical player in Splatoon. I want to be the Legolas of Splatoon. I don't want to be some measly Aragorn who can't even keep the ring, who needs two freaking hobbits to do the job for him. Short story is I got my ass kicked by some guy using motion controls. So today, I'll be learning how to use motion controls through the Octo Expansion. But first, let's take a look at my current rank. My highest rank is S plus on Splat Zones, and Tower Control and Rainmaker is S. As for Clan Blitz, there seems to be some sort of graphical error, so let's just fix that right now. Much better. Okay, let's switch over to Motion Controls and play through the Octo Expansion. Now I've never really done Motion Controls before, so if you know what settings to use, just leave a comment, and I'll read through it. What the fuck? First time, come on, let's do this. Time to get used to the controls. I think the last time I used motion controls was during the tutorial stage when I first started the game. Oh god. <laughs> the most annoying part was you couldn't switch it off until after the tutorial. How the fuck? Oh my god, this is so annoying. Hang on. Let me just sit straight. Hmm. So I can't move up and down. I do this, okay? Does it turn when I turn? Yes, it does. Man. It feels like a whole new game. Oh my god, this is annoying as hell. I can't even rest. Up straight. Alright. What? The promised land? Valhalla! Valhalla! All right, I've heard enough. Let's hurry this up and let's get to the promised land. Fucking finish this as fast as possible. Oh my gosh, this is annoying. Easy. Oh. Okay. Holy nuts, this is annoying. Oh my god, this is annoying. How do people play this? With motion controls. Give me that. Give me some of that. Man, I sound weird as well. He can destroy. Oh my god, I can't even aim. Oh, time to get the fuck out of here. Aim, damn it! I keep using my right thumb to look up and down. 
be the controller. Be one way. <gasps> oh. <sighs> All right, I think I've got this. Oh my gosh, this is annoying. How do I keep doing this? Right. Am I being timed? There's no timer. It's not even two minutes in. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm already pro. Aim up, aim up, aim up! Aim up! Holy shit, this so It's not even two minutes in. I'm pretty sure I'm already pro. This fucking game, man. Skip. Yep, I'm done. Oh my gosh, this guy. Where are you going? Where are you going right now? I can't even do my usual trick against... Against a fucking... Julie fucking user. Oh my god, this sucks! He's got all again! Woo! Right, I don't suck at the game, I swear. In fact, on the next game, I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison from motion controls to stick controls. But before that, let's head over to Coach Dave for a little tip on stick controls. Thank you, Dave. Now, for those of you who can't stand motion controls like me, you need to accept that you're at a major disadvantage. Just do it! They have faster aim, faster turn speed, and they can use those disgusting snipers. OH MY GOD! WHAT THE FUCK?! But you can close that gap by making more tactical decisions, AND by using simple techniques that are essential for stick controls. So, in this episode, we'll start with one of the most important lessons. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. This technique will improve your chances in close range combat. The method is simple. As soon as you see your opponent adjusting his aim, dive and swim to change your position. This will force the enemy to readjust, giving you enough time to shoot him. In this clip, you can see me use the technique complete with a complimentary squid bag. And yes, swim speed will amplify the technique, so start hoarding. Back to you, Dave. Alright, time to redeem myself for the lost life. This is easy mode, the easiest weapon you can use. I think. A hundred? That's nothing. Let's freaking go. You were talking. To a Splatoon master. Who can't even fucking aim! Easy! First time using motion controls, I'm already pro. Alright, what's underneath? How do I jump again? Shit. <laughs> okay, that's out. <gasps> Ooh, can we see down? Come on, look down. <sighs> no! Come on! Look down! What? What? I ran out of the test field. What? What? I don't understand. 
So is there a timer? Aim up, damn it. Aim down, fuck! I keep forgetting, I keep using the thumbsticks. Come on, off we go. Jump! Easy, no problems at all. Shit. Okay, I'm good. Jump, man. I need a key. Aim down, damn it. Oh! Ooh, that was close. Alright, I'm fine. Aim up. How the fuck am I gonna do- oh, okay. Oh, not yet. Oh god. God, it's so hard to aim! I just need to not use my thumbsticks. Easy. Okay, you know what? Bliss. All right, all right. I'll take that. Are you fucking kidding me, man? I'm down. Jump! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, this sucks so much. I've got one more health. I can't afford to die. Come on, let's do this. Whoops. Why can't I even get it? Come on. Aim downwards, come on. Eyes on the prize. Not yet. Go. You are getting ignored. Alright, that's all the time I have for today. Subscribe for the next episode where my newly acquired skills carries me all the way to X-Rank. See ya!